soft with each other. Let's be kind to each other. Let's let's try and understand a bit more. That's the, I think that's the biggest lesson I've learned uh, on the road through my work. everyone, welcome to Fluorescent. Today I'm joined by Reggie Komalo, who is a South African artist, adventurer, and motorbike rider. Okay, so Reggie, I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about yourself. I, I like to believe I'm an adventurer first and a, an artist. I have a jack of all trades, I guess, As, you know. Um, if you say adventure, I guess you include um, you include a whole lot of things too. Um, but um, uh, also, obviously, I love motorbikes. That goes without saying. Well, what I'm known for is basically riding across continents on a motorbike and uh, doing paintings. And uh, with those paintings, um, making a difference in the communities I go through uh, with uh, donating some of that money that I make for my paintings and uh, helping build schools, help poor communities, help uh, with uh, health issues in, in poor communities. Um, yeah, um, yeah. So um, I, I basically have dedicated myself to philanthropy almost, dedicated my life to philanthropy in a, in a sense, but um, I use my art as the tool, you know. Have you always wanted to be an artist or I guess adventurer or what kind of got you on this path? I've always wanted to be an adventurer. Um, uh, I remember when I, when I left when we left South Africa when I was about five. We left South Africa for Botswana, a neighboring country, and then eventually into into Zimbabwe. Um, uh, with my so we took a train from Joburg, from Johannesburg, uh, with my mom at the time and my and my brother, and then we we were we were on the train for about two days, I think, into Botswana. Um, and uh, to such an adventure, I remember just seeing these pictures moving and I'm looking through the window. Um, and I, I just like the idea of just like, you know, we're going towards something uh, or we're not really leaving it behind, but we like, it's just, just, it's just such, such a, there was something to look forward to, let me say, you know, like the unknown almost, you know, which was very nice. Um, and I was still a young kid. That's my earliest memory, actually, that I, I remember still. Uh, I, of, of course, then from there onwards, uh, we'll travel with my dad across borders. Um, and uh, yeah, just, 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 just something that started catching on in terms of I really always wanted to be on the move. And then I, I could always doodle, by the way. I could always like to sketch. I could always, uh, you know, when other kids were doing like sort of wire cars, um, I was like trying to put lights. I was trying to, you know, do a full body, you know, <laughs> everything, the trim, everything else, and uh, all this could draw. Um, and then I eventually obviously moved into painting. But I, it was something that I was not really proud of. I always thought I was an entrepreneur because my dad was an entrepreneur at one, you know. Um, and uh, I've always wanted to be like a businessman, whatever, so on, you know. Like, uh, I, f I felt like being an artist was like quite a... You know, everyone spoke very lowly, a uh, low, low of artists. You know, the more the more I went into it, the you know, the more I, I realized that it's a part of me, and that's me. You know, I, you can never run away from yourself. Uh, something that comes naturally and easy is your salvation. That is God given. No one can take away from you. That's where your your future lies in. That's where your your bread is going to come from. That's where your you know, that's where your money is going to come from. That's the honest, you know, truth. After, after a very hard time, quarter to life crisis, 26, 27, 28, I uh, lost a lot of things in my life that I sort of built towards and built to. Um, and um, it became, a, I needed something that was me, you know, that was, that would come naturally. No one could take away from me. Uh, and uh I looked at what I was and what I had and what, what were my talents, what was my love for life, what, 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 what is the one thing that I could go on without anyone involved. And that was my art, travel, and, um, and, and motorbikes, you know. So, um, yeah, I, I, I sold a couple pieces and then I bought a motorbike and then I went around the, the continent. Um, and that, as I was going around the continent, uh, I eventually fell in love with the idea of being of as as much as people were helping me across, 
you know, uh, a lot of people were helping me and I also felt like I should give back, you know, and um, so I started being that. At first it was just like, okay, I'm going to be going on an adventure kind of thing and then it became something very meaningful for me. It was, you know, um, I could change communities. So all of a sudden this artist that is sort of looked down upon um, is able to take kids to school, is able to make, to, to, to affect change, you know, is able to all of a sudden now build a school, uh, with, you know, with the, with the money from the art, is all of a sudden able to feed kids for the year in a school and all these things. So, you know, you, st you start to realize that actually, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's artists, yeah, meaning there is no, everyone can play a part, you know, the, um, whichever way you look at it. You, you know, being my, being an artist, I've been able, I've been able to play a part, and uh, and I'm sure a whole lot of other people's talents, like what you're doing yourself too now. Um, you know that that is going to go. Hopefully, this goes to someone else that probably probably changes someone. It's like like a chain reaction, isn't it? It's like if someone um if someone changes your internal world, then the next thing maybe that you do might change one person's internal world, which then changes another. But do you know what I mean? Like that kind of absolutely, yeah, yeah. That's exactly it. You know, um, it, it's uh, another hand washing another hand, isn't it? Uh, yeah. that's, that's what we say. That's what we say. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, so um, you know, like that's the actually that's the whole concept of Ubuntu. Yeah, that's 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 what I then you know remembered. Okay, wow. By the way, we always talk about Ubuntu. Uh, Ubuntu, by the way, is a, a African philosophy of um i am because you are and um you live for you live for um, for the next person and the other per the next person lives for you you are raised by the village meaning that um everyone in the village is your parent and vice versa yeah, yeah. so i picked up ubuntu on the road um which has become you know my i think my life purpose to 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 use it as a you know as the one common Thing that we have in Africa and possibly across the world and it's got different names across the world which I'm looking forward to actually learning about you know that's that's actually what my my journey is about now you know going into communities and learning how what is Ubuntu for them you know what is Ubuntu for for an English person in uh, England what is Ubuntu for a German person in Germany you know and um, you in uh, Sydney then Australia you know, uh, how, what, what, what do you guys call that kind of living, you know, that kind of philosophy? Um, but also, how does it look? You know, how does it feel? That, that's, that's, that's actually what I'm going to be traveling around the world, uh, basically documenting and uh, sharing, uh, uh, you know, uh, through my paintings. My paintings really talk about Ubuntu. They talk about um, living for each other. They talk about, you know, especially women. Basically, I... I I highlight the the power of women in my work at the same time talking about Ubuntu because hence all my paintings, mainly most of my paintings are really mainly about um, uh, women, you know. I guess you kind of talked about it though. You kind of, in some ways, you've touched on what inspires you, but is there anything in particular that inspires your work or you in your life or anyone in particular? I, I think for me... Uh, my, um, I think women inspire me. Yeah. I think women inspire me. Adventure inspires me. Uh, the unknown inspires me. Um, yeah, I, yeah. Women inspire me in the sense that you know I just did a piece of painting called "In the Economy of Privilege," and then you've got this place with written power on top. It's, um, it talks about how it, it was with black women in MKK. Um, so there's a black face there and um, the idea behind the title is um, that in such a privileged world black women are the, at the at the bottom of the privilege even black men black men are still are still taking from black women we're still you know robbing from black women we're still you know even though we are also as black men we're still at the bottom we're quite at the bottom of this whole privilege uh, aspect of things we shouldn't that actually give us even better thought process towards better empathy towards black women, you know? I mean, in black women are getting murdered left, right, and center. They're getting, um, uh, they're not getting the, the same equal jobs and a whole lot of things. But 
um, and then just generally women then you from there you move on to to the idea of just women white black whatever so on how in this world still you know as a man i still have some sense of privilege to beyond to, to an extent to a to a to a white woman to a, a indian woman nonetheless to in terms of it being a men's world your work represents social issues, communicates social issues. And by looking at your work, I noticed that you also use a lot of graffiti as a reflection of protest. Is that right? Yeah, you got it. Well done, well done. So the whole idea of art is to, to um, you know, to pick at you. You know, the idea is to pick at you, to, to say, to, to say um, what do you think of this? You know, um, is it real? Is it not real? Um, is it true? Is it is it false? Um, what's your thoughts? You know, I'm I'm trying to you know trying to start um, a conversation there. You know, a dialogue. You know, to get dialogue going. Uh, um, so um, yeah, with my work, where's uh, where I use uh, graffiti as as the um, well, not catalyst as to say, but um, you know, like a prick. It's like almost like a thorn in 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 the in the in the smooth face it sort of breaks it breaks down the face you know in a you know you've got this whole well smooth face and everything else clean whatever and you've got this roughness at the back um you know um it's you know the graffiti to say you know it's pick at you uh, you know and but how i got it is as i was traveling i realized that a lot of people were were afraid of their government uh, so they could not really uh, protest and have like a dialogue with the government. They would probably sneak out at night, deep in the night, right? Get out, or oh, we're tired of you, or oh, this, you stop stealing corruption or whatever, so on with the graffiti, uh, with, uh, with, you know, with the cans and, you know. So uh, as I was writing, I kept on seeing this and I thought, wow, what a way to communicate. You know, like what a, such a, such a very straightforward thing it says as it is. And um, I thought, okay, well, maybe I should just, you know, start uh, throwing that into my, into my, um, into my work. And um, I started putting a face to those words. You know, it's actually most of the time it was people that I had met on the road that I, I was painting. If you were to give any advice to other creatives and or people aspiring to be artists, would you say to them? I, I would say it's simple. Just do you. You know, do you, do you like in the sense that don't look for something that that someone else can take away from you. Don't look within yourself or everything. Your your who you are um, is already there. I mean, your 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 you know you are your salvation. Um, you know, I, I find that life is fair in the sense that. Life is fair in the sense that if there, there's got to be way, I know, I know people say that some people are born in privilege, and yes, people are born in privilege. But I promise you, if you had to look at it from a point of what's, what's my surrounding like? What can I take from my surrounding? What can I use to, you know, to take myself to the next level from my surrounding? You'd be so amazed at the story that the world is waiting to hear from your surrounding. You know, so everything that is within within your space and around you can be turned into a positive by just thinking it posi uh, thinking positively and thinking instead of feeling instead of feeling really bad about yourself and your situations and your your space and where you are. Oh, I mean, you know, I, I could be easily be thinking, oh well, I'm in Africa. Um, it's not the same as anywhere else, whatever, so on. You know, but. You know, well, I mean, if I didn't think that, I mean, now I, I wouldn't have people buying my work in America. I wouldn't have people buying my work in Germany, in Europe. I wouldn't have people um, in Dubai, all these places all around the world getting my work, you know. But, you know, I've, I've, I've gotten to a point where, you know, I'm using my environment. Even now, we're in COVID. You know, we're crying. Oh, I mean, I'm, 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 oh, this is just terrible, this and whatever use it use it um, uh, use it to, to to build onto the next you know let's use it to draw some inspiration you know find some you know something to 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 inspire you going forward find some 
come up with a body of work that you know that talks about your loneliness did you come up with a body of work that talks about your isolation you know um so there is a whole lot more that everything is given to us it's just a matter of you know what am i willing to use and uh, am i really willing to actually think outside the box so um, in, you are the inspiration that you're waiting for yeah if people wanted to check out your work where could they yeah. go to do so so if people wanted to see my work um they can check it out on my instagram um my instagram is uh, rage the, no the, the nomad uh, Reggie the Nomad, um, and then on Facebook it's uh, the Ride and Artist Within, the Ride and Artist Within, and then um, uh, they can always check out my website too. It's uh, ReggieKumalo dot com. Yeah, uh, Reggie Kumalo is uh, the Reggie is double G I E, and then Kumalo is K H U M A L O dot com. Um.